You've got to be kidding. That's just, that's unacceptable. It's a difference of like 20, 19 hours. That, that, that's crazy. This traveling business is horse shit. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Vulgarities. Just, just go ahead and roll the intro already. You're gonna love this one. It's really not even a commentary video. This is It's a slant if anything. So as many of you know already, I've been working in Texas for about a month now uh, It's all actually almost exactly a month and it's the San Antonio area I actually finished what I was doing here a little early and I'm looking at traveling home many of you are probably by now questioning what I was talking about at the beginning of this video in the introduction concerning travel and that's exactly what I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about. Um, I, I, I do a lot of traveling. I've lived several different places. Lived for a while in uh, Southern. I just blocked the lighting completely. That's awful of me. I really just can't find the right position on this bed and it's starting to annoy me. Anyways, um, I got a haircut. If that makes any difference to you. It's nice, I guess. But other than that, what I was talking about, I, I have lived several different places, but they've been like short term. The main place that I've always lived is uh, Marion, Indiana. I've always lived there for extended amounts of time, and that's just because it's where I was raised. It's where I grew up. I've lived in Salt Lake City, Coral Springs, Florida, Owingsville, Kentucky, Converse, Indiana, Upland, Indiana, and those all central around Marion, Indiana. I've always lived around the Marion area, and then that brings us to San Antonio now. Texas. But anyways, I'm going home. I'm so happy I get out of this heat. I'm gonna kind of relax and have a summer to myself. You know, there's just been a lot of changes going on in my own life. And so, I mean, trying to settle myself down, it's just really hard. Back to the whole travel thing. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, with, with living different places, I've had a lot of time to narrow down ways of travel. What's best, what works, and what doesn't. And um, one thing that I've found is that like I fly a lot, but I also use Greyhound quite a bit. And I like both. Like It is really good and awesome for me when I'm flying because I really like the travel that way, but I also like Greyhound. And the uh, I'm done doing the flashes in the video. I'm just going to go ahead and complete this just as a solid piece. I'm not in the mood to do a bunch of editing, and I'm just tired, so deal with it, okay? Okay. Anyways, this is what I'm talking about with Greyhound. Um, on the day that I'm wanting to leave there, I, it says, you can't really see it very well. You could if I had my HD camera, but basically you can see the Greyhound. It says that non-refundable ticket is $168. If I go to Priceline and I'm looking at air travel, AirTran has a ticket on that, I believe it's the same day, yeah it is, it's the same day, um, $190, so it's just about a $15, $20 difference, yeah, um, $190 as opposed to $168. And that's where I have an issue and I need your help. I don't know if I want to take the bus home or if I want to fly. I mean, obviously, taking the bus, I think it was like a one day, four or five hour trip. So that's like 25, 30 hours on a bus. And then there's like three, two or three transfers. I think there's only two transfers if I leave at like two in the morning, but if I leave it in the afternoon, it's like three transfers, and so I've got to get off of the bus, get onto another one, and get off of the bus, get onto another one, get off of the bus, get onto another one, just to get to Indianapolis, and so that's a lot of a hassle, and then and then the airplane is like a uh, five hours. I leave at oh boy, I'm not leaving at six in the morning. I can, for the same price on, on the plane, I can leave at 11.35 a.m. and I can be in uh, Indianapolis at 7 that evening. And so, that, 
I mean, I only have one one stop, and it connects in Atlanta. And I don't know if that means I have to, uh, if that's a connecting flight or not, it doesn't matter. Normally I fly American Airlines, which kind of bothers me because um, it shows a list of airline flights right here on the side. It says AirTran is the cheapest that day. It's like 190 And then it's got the list descending, and as you go down, it gets more expensive. American Airlines is the most expensive, and it's 452 and and that upsets me because I I'm I'm a member of American Airlines uh, the rewards program and I don't like that that I have to go to another uh, air air carrier because is that what you call it, air carrier no something anyways I, I don't like having to go with a different air transport because of price I mean I wish I could just go with American Airlines it's what I always use so I'm just really big on tradition if I if I do something a certain way I like to just continue that you guys know that with like Friday night rituals and Bobley pizza and those kinds of things like I, I stick to what I know and I, I enjoy that obviously I throw some change in quite a bit but I mean with so much change that I've got going on I like to keep the little things the same because it's it's those things that I actually have control over. Anyways, I'm just going to make this video short. I hope it's not too long already. Probably is. Um, let me know what you think. If you think I should get on the plane or I should get on the bus. I really enjoy the bus drives. Like, I just, I plug in my headphones onto my iPod and into my ears and I go. I go with it. And it's so awesome. I always meet weird people because it seems like the weird people that can't get onto the planes get onto the buses. And I'm like, hmm. Because you got to be pretty crazy to go on a bus when you can just pay $20 more and get on a plane. I think the people that use Greyhound are the people that are too afraid to fly, are too crazy to fly, or to get onto a plane, or just um, like driving. And I like that. I like that road trip feel. And if I don't get on the bus this time, it's going to make me mad. I mean, I want. It, it's going to leave me with a loss of uh, feeling of. of I'm still going to have that desire to travel. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You probably do. But I have that desire to just drive. But I also understand that there's like three transfers an entire day on the bus. And I'm like, hmm. And I always feel bad after it. Like, I always feel like I feel and smell icky and I have to take a shower. But it was let me know what you think. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to buy a ticket either tomorrow or the next day. So help me quick leave a comment and say Perry I think you should do this and then and if you want to go and and uh, define why you feel that way tell me tell me why I should do it and, um, and especially what you want to see because either way traveling home if I fly or if I drive I'm gonna film it and so it's a video blog out of it for you so let me know what you want to see if, if you guys really want me to drive on the bus I'll go ahead and do it I'm tempted to right now but likely I'm gonna take the plane because it's little more expensive not much and uh and all that so let me know and hope all is well in your neck of the woods and as a quick side note go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet it helps my channel out tremendously the subscription rate has like boomed i'm getting all kinds of people that are finding the channel just because i'm advertising better and with your help it will just be greater than it already is I know people like Shane Jensen and Sean Phillips have really just been talking about my channel to other people, and I think that that might be because they're just so such great friends. I've talked about them since I even started YouTube. I, they're they're two of the biggest guys that I've looked up to with creating my own channel, and I've been finding people like Lemonette. If you want a good channel, go to youtubecom Lemonette. She is freaking hilarious. I love that lady. Uh, but really, that's about it. I hope all is well. Uh, like I said before, and uh, please, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. If you have people on Facebook that haven't subscribed to, to my channel or don't even have a YouTube account, you need to spread the word and say, hey, you need to create an account. That helps so much with your navigation on YouTube. If you watch videos on YouTube, there is no reason that you should not have an account. You need that. So go ahead and do it, and I'll talk to you later. What have you done? You're not supposed to take this ring.